dessert storms. Valentine's Day. Hi there, Wilk here. It's dessert story time. Everyone, do you know what Valentine's Day is all about? Love. It's when couples celebrate their love for each other, usually with chocolate. But there's also a really tragic story behind Valentine's Day. So today, let's learn all about St. Valentine. At its height, the Roman Empire was huge. So the soldiers guarding its borders had to be separated from their families. But soldiers who missed their families often deserted and escaped back home. The Roman Empire forbid any of its soldiers to marry. If a soldier married in secret and was found out, they were put to death. One day, Bishop Valentine of Rome witnessed a woman <laughs> weeping in church. Why do you weep so, my dear child? Oh, Pasquale and I were to be married, but he was drafted into the Roman army. Why won't God let us be together? <laughs> Bishop Valentine felt for the woman and decided to help her. I'll help you both. What? Come to church with Pasquale tomorrow, and I will marry you. But if you do that, they'll execute you for helping us. It's all right. The Lord will protect us. Bishop Valentine defied the system that stopped young Romans from loving each other. <sighs> he performed the rite of marriage, and the couple was married after all. Other couples who heard about what he'd done came to Bishop Valentine. Excuse me, mm -hmm. are you Bishop Valentine? Uh, yes, I'm Bishop Valentine. Please, Father, uh, officiate our wedding. You're the uh, only one in Rome who will marry us. With Bishop Valentine's help, <laughs> many couples tied the knot. But it wasn't long before the bishop was caught. Bishop Valentine, you're under arrest for breaking the Empire's laws. The bishop was arrested and brought before the emperor. I told the pope no marrying soldiers. Execute him this instant. Bishop Valentine was put to death. <laughs> the bishop died for us. I'll never forget what you did for us, father. Ever since, Valentine's sacrifice was commemorated on February 14th, Valentine's Day. To celebrate, people confessed their love. Even after death, Bishop Valentine's spirit lives on thousands of years later through the celebration we call Valentine's Day. Well, that's it for today's dessert story. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye, everyone. Wilkes Dessert Stories. Sliced Bread. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Wilkes Dessert Story. Well, then. What do you use when you make a sandwich? You guessed it, it's sliced bread. But did you know? Sliced bread has only been around for a hundred years. So who was behind the first sliced sandwich bread? Let's find out together, shall we? In the late 1800s, an American jeweler named Otto Roweter ran a successful jewelry business for 15 years. But he expanded too much too fast, no. and his business went under. <laughs> Rowitter was unemployed and uninspired. His wife, Carrie, was not happy. Honey, stop being such a loaf! Help me slice this bread! But moving is hard. Carrie asked Rowitter to help her fix dinner and slice bread. He soon found out cutting bread was harder than it had a right to be. So he came up with the best idea since, well, oh, bread. Eureka! If I invent a bread slicer, I'll be richer than the president! <laughs> he used the last of his savings to build a bread factory and built the first ever bread slicing machine. <laughs> but his factory burned to the ground. <laughs> oh no, my factory, it's gone! His precious machine went up in flames. But Rowetter never gave up. He worked and worked and saved and saved. After 10 years of toil, Rowetter used the money he made to build a brand new bread slicing machine. 
He introduced it to the world on July 7th, 1928. Hmm. The dough goes in the mold. You bake it in the oven, then drop it in the machine. Bread slices for everyone! I've never seen anything like it! This changes everything! How much per slice? I'll take an entire loaf! Sliced bread slice made bread things easier for me. mothers everywhere! Bakers fell over each other to buy Roeder's Slicer! <laughs> and as a result, Roeder made a ton of dough! We all use Roeder's Sliced Bread to make sandwiches today! Even after losing everything, Rowetter never gave up and he made history. What a legend, right? As long as you never give up, never surrender, your dreams will come true too. Well, that's it for today's dessert story. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye, everyone.